Hello guys, this is Dr. Madhu Jana and we are back with a new video. Today I am going to focus uh, on a topic which is very much asked recently after the MCI examination like all my juniors have once or twice asked me this question what to do for the interviews and how does it go. So let me give you a very detailed picture of what you are going to face during your interview. So as we all know the MCI result have been out, it's quite a time and uh, you people are gonna get your certificates. Uh, I'm not quite sure about the date, have you already received it or you're gonna receive it. What is the next step after you receive your certificate? After you receive your certificate, you are have, you are supposed to uh, apply for respective medical council and uh, for people who are applying for Delhi Medical Council, you are going to face a little bit of more competition than other uh, people in other states because uh, there is a huge rush in Delhi and not only foreign medical graduates, you will be having competition with Indian medical graduates too who have uh, done their degree from private medical colleges. They also uh, do their externship from from certain uh, famous uh, hospitals in Delhi. There will be few hospitals where you can do your internship and the first is Sabdajam, Ram Manohar Loya Hospital, Hindu Rao, uh, D, uh, DDU which is uh, Deen Dayal Hospital and uh, then Northern Railway Hospital. These are the few hospitals where you can do your internship and also few MCD hospitals uh, uh, under which comes Hindu Rao too and also Kasturba Gandhi Hospital. These are the few hospitals where you can do your internship. Now for internship in Delhi as the rush is a lot, every hospital uh, takes interviews and this interview is a common interview. It is not separate for foreign medical graduate or Indian medical graduate. When you go to appear for interviews, you will be meeting Indian medical graduates as well. Like the Indian medical graduates who have passed from uh, private colleges, they also do their exter uh, externship from these hospitals. So you have to compete with them. Now what are you supposed to do for your internship? Uh, let's start with the easier part. First of all, when you have to be going for your internship, your presentations should be good. That is the way you are dressed should be quite formal and you should be presenting yourself as a doctor. The things you say in your internship uh, should not be uh, sounding like a first year or a second year uh, medical student. Uh, you have already achieved your degree so you are expected to answer with a lot of logic and a lot of framed uh, sentences to be uh, precise. and. Uh, so the people who are taking your interview they are consultants or professors so they are they are sitting there to confuse you even you say a right thing they will be asking you twisted things to confuse you but uh, there's the test for your confidence you have to actually balance it and answer like you are actually having the patient in front of you and uh, the patient is your patient and you are treating that patient that's how you have to answer so another most uh, important question asked to me is what are we supposed to study for an interview? See, sitting here, it is not at all possible for me to predict as to what exactly will you be asked in interviews uh, or in your examination. But yes, uh, based on experience, I can uh, definitely guide you that there are few important topics which are repeated every time and the professors or the consultants, they do expect you to know it for must. Well, the first question uh, you will face in your interview is uh, what did you study now uh, according to me the optimum answer should be that as I have given an examination I have basically studied everything but these uh, subjects are my forte. Now, uh, the, the subjects which are your forte depends on individual. Like if I say medicine, I should be ready uh, for a very detailed interview. If I say short subjects like ophthalmology or ENT, but mind it, when you say short subjects, also, there is a reverse question asked that, no, tell me some core subjects. By core subjects, they mean either gynae, ops, surgery or medicine or PSM, these kind of subjects. So uh, ultimately, after asking you this, they will ask you what they want to. It doesn't really matter which subjects you have uh, said. But still, this is uh, the way they start the interview mostly everywhere. Now the pattern you are going to answer. Uh, See, we are not in the medical years where we are doing a first year or second year. You are actually a doctor, got your degree, so they expect you to answer like a doctor. 
so they will be asking you questions uh, for which you have to give a full framed uh, answer like if they ask you about a disease you can actually give examples of cases like uh, ma'am or sir i have seen certain case in a hospital so this are the clinical presentation then my diagnosis will be this these kind of answers actually gain uh, i mean fetch you marks now what are the things which you have to study so see for any exam or any interview there is no limit to what you have to study but as my juniors asked i have uh, told them certain topics so i'll be telling those topics in the video itself 